Today, I'm so excited to introduce Imagine 3. It's our most capable image generation model yet. Imagine 3 is more photorealistic. You can literally count the whiskers on its snout. With richer details, like this incredible sunlight in the shot, and fewer visual artifacts or distorted images. It understands prompts written the way people write. The more creative and detailed you are, the better. And Imagine 3 remembers to incorporate small details, like the wildflowers or small blue bird, in this longer prompt. Plus, this is our best model yet for rendering text, which has been a challenge for image generation models. In side-by-side -side comparisons, independent evaluators preferred Imagine 3 over other popular image generation models. In sum, Imagine 3 is our highest quality image generation model so far. You can sign up today to try Imagine 3 in ImageFX, part of our suite of AI tools at labs.google, and it'll be coming soon to developers and enterprise customers in Vertex AI. Another area full of creative possibility is generative music. I've been working in this space for over 20 years, and this is by far the most exciting year of my career. We're exploring ways of working with artists to expand their creativity with AI. Together with YouTube, we've been building Music AI Sandbox, a suite of professional music AI tools that can create new instrumental sections from scratch, transfer styles between tracks, and more. To help us design and test them, we've been working closely with incredible musicians, songwriters, and producers. Some of them made even entirely new songs in ways that would have not been possible without these tools. Let's hear from some of the artists we've been working with. I'm going to put this right back into the Music AI tool, the same boom, 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 boom. What happens if Haiti meets Brazil? Dude, I have no clue what's about to be spread out. This is what excites me. As a hip hop producer, we dug in the crates. We play these vinyls, and the part where there's no vocal, we pull it, we sample it, and we create an entire song around that. So right now, we're digging in the infinite crate. It's endless. Where I found the AI really useful for me, this way to like fill in the sparser sort of elements of my loops. Okay, let's try bongos. We're gonna put viola. We're gonna put rhythmic clapping. And we're gonna see what happens there. And it makes it sound, ironically, at the end of the day, a little more human. So then this is entirely Google's loops right here. These are gloops. It's like having like this weird friend that's just like, Try this, try that. And then you're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, that's pretty dope. The tools are capable of speeding up the process of what's in my head getting it out. You're able to move light speed with your creativity. This is amazing. That right there? I think this really shows what's possible when we work with the artist community on the future of music. You can find some brand new songs from these acclaimed artists and songwriters on their YouTube channels now. There's one more area I'm really excited to share with you. Our teams have made some incredible progress in generative video. Today, I'm excited to announce our newest, most capable generative video model called Vio. Vio creates high-quality 1080p videos from text, image, and video prompts. It can capture the details of your instructions in different visual and cinematic styles. You can prompt for things like aerial shots of a landscape or time-lapse, and further edit your videos using additional prompts. You can use Vio in our new experimental tool called VideoFX. We're exploring features like storyboarding and generating longer scenes. Vio gives you unprecedented creative control. Techniques for generating static images have come a long way, but generating video is a different challenge altogether. Not only is it important to understand where an object or subject should be in space, it needs to maintain this consistency over time, just like the car in this video. 
Veo builds upon years of our pioneering generative video model work, including GQN, Fanaki, Walt, VideoPoet, Lumiere, and much more. We combine the best of these architectures and techniques to improve consistency, quality, and output resolution. To see what VO can do, we put it in the hands of an amazing filmmaker. Let's take a look. Well, I've been interested in AI for a couple of years now. We got in contact with some of the people at Google, and they had been working on something of their own. So we're all meeting here at Google Farms to make a short film. The core technology is Google DeepMind's generative video model that has been trained to convert input text into output video. <laughs> it looks good. We are able to bring ideas to life that were otherwise not possible. We can visualize things on a time scale that's 10 or 100 times faster than before. When you're shooting, you can't really iterate as much as you wish. And so we, we've been hearing that feedback is that it allows for like more, more optionality, more iteration, more improvisation. But that's what's cool about it. It's like you can make a mistake faster. That's all you really want at the end of the day. At least in art, it's just to make mistakes fast. So using Gemini's multimodal capabilities to optimize the model training process, VO is able to better capture the nuance from prompts. So this includes cinematic techniques and visual effects, giving you total creative control. Everybody's going to become a director, and everybody should be a director. Because at the heart of all of this, it's just storytelling. The closer we are to being able to tell each other our stories, the more we'll understand each other. These models are really enabling us to be more creative and to share that creativity with each other. Over the coming weeks, some of these features will be available to select creators through video effects at labs.google, and the wait list is open now. Of course, these advances in generative video go beyond the beautiful visuals you've seen today. By teaching future AI models how to solve problems creatively, or in effect simulate the physics of our world, we can build more useful systems that can help people communicate in new ways, and thereby advance the frontiers of AI. When we first began this journey to build AI more than 15 years ago, we knew that one day it would change everything. Now that time is here. And we continue to be amazed by the progress we see and inspired by the advances still to come on the path to AGI.